learning, sharing and growing. And in this beautiful evening, I'm currently at Nanjing Road, Pu Xingjie, and the walking streets. Uh, and looking at uh, rather not busy nights that there was store and there's actually not that many people and it's not a public holiday and it is a weekday it's a working day but it's still a lot of people for me and interesting the Chinese people work very hard to make a living and also looking at the shops I was told each of these shops itself cost rental costs at least a hundred thousand learning fees and above and which means they work very hard and also work very hard to spend their money so that's interesting and this evening I'd like to share one of the things with you is you know in terms of our habits how we do things and uh, there are times we don't think much because we are going through the routines of every day and making a lot of money and spending a lot is a very interesting habit to observe of. so nevertheless it is a beautiful evening the temperature is about 17 degrees Celsius with a lot of people and uh, an evening to think and also, of course, to enjoy myself. And here I'm sitting at the bands of Shanghai, looking at histories. As these beautiful nights of about 18 degrees Celsius now, as we look at the beautiful landmarks of Shanghai, as we can see some of this building at the back was one time occupied by the Western countries. And it's been preserved until today, so that people today can remember that, you know, they were at the points of being vulnerable and uh, was a difficult times for the people of this country. But today that we, by being in front of this place, has been transformed as one of the metropolitans of the world. And knowing that and learning history becomes a really key to a success, not only for a country but for an individual as well. So, so it's so important for, look, for us to look back so that we know how to progress into the futures. So with this beautiful night, that I do hope that it reminds us you know, how and what can we do for our own life, looking back so that we can move to the futures. Hi, I'm at the Shanghai Museum, and it's always, um, and I always make an effort to visit a museum whenever I am at a city or a different place. You know, the museum is like telling us histories or even a story of the past and for us to see and give an idea how the future kind of looks like. And a couple of thoughts for these museums as I was looking at uh, the influence of Buddhism uh, towards these countries as over thousands of years and uh, there were so many beautiful uh, sculptures, arts, you know, and paintings and also statues have been created. There's so much effort to put in into really creating really fine arts and such. So as I look into today's, and, uh, and we, we do still worships globally, and globally and most people are worshipping uh, Facebooks, YouTube, Gmail and the rest. So what kind of futures that are we looking at as we uh, move forward and progress and looking at different things and uh, putting importance in our times on very different things compared to the past. And because that will actually shapes the cultures and how human uh, beings will evolve into into the future. I thought that was something interesting. And and also I mean, when I went into the hall that uh, shows and grief seal and also the hall that talk about ethnic cities and we have a different ethnic city is so beautiful and so creative. But the thing is, as nations, as we look at nations today, trying to create same sameness, trying to impose on the same things, not only from language, cultures. And, and such things. And but sometimes we do think that it's different from others that stand out and that is unique. But at times if we feel a bit odd and we just want to follow the crowds. So what about you? And it's, it, it takes courage to be different, to be unique, and to be different, to be unique than the rest of the world or the rest of the friends that you have. Until we speak again next week. Thank you.